co-pilot, but with the addition of the landing gear lever and also the switch for the nose and for the visor to raise and to lower. Set of four engines, so a set of instruments for one each of the engines. Switches down here for the radio and navigation equipment. Throttles. When you're sitting at the end of the runway ready to go, the engineer would have his seat turned round facing here. He'd have one hand on the throttles, likewise the captain or co-pilot. They'd press the white switches, which are the reheat switches for the afterburners. Simply pour raw aviation fuel in to uh, give more power. Very expensive on the they push the throttles forward for full power and off they go. More switches down here for radio and navigation equipment. And then up in the middle panel here we've got autopilot and auto land switches, controls. Engine management systems up here on the ceiling with the fire switches. Should a fire occur, one of these would light up. They'd pull the switch, extinguish the fire, shut the engine down and head off to the nearest diversity airfield. The flight engineer won't would be monitoring all systems, but in particular all the engines and the fuel systems. As they use the fuel, he'd be pumping the remaining 